Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about something different than I previously have, and that is technology. Um, so, one of the biggest things that uh, people talk about when they talk about technology is phones. You know, phones is an accessory item. A mobile phone, if you don't have one, you're not cool. Um, and in, in actual fact, I'm talking about one of the biggest mobile phone uh, manufacturers that is out there today. And that is um, Samsung. So my daily driver is the Samsung Galaxy S4. Uh, I love this phone to bits, you know. Um, there, there are a few issues I've had over the past few months that I've uh, had with it and a few things I don't like. And uh, I've also had iPhone before, so they're, they're, you know there's a, a massive rivalry rivalry between uh, iPhone and uh, Apple and, and Samsung and the, the two, those are the two leading manufacturers that are on the market today. Um, so basically when you talk about phones, do you want a Samsung or do you want an iPhone? And um, uh, I, I, love, I love both phones, I had the iPhone 5 and I, I loved that as well. There was a few issues that I had with it so I, and I did, I, did, I felt like a change, I felt like going to Android and I felt like having the power to change things if I wanted to, uh, if I wanted to. So, I don't think the S4 was as big a hit as the S3 when it first came out, but, you know, it was still big improvement, the, the nice, the, the, the 5 inch 1080p display, um, the, the 13 megapixel uh, camera at the back, and it was just, you know, all around awesome phone. Some of the, the some some of the features when were, were next gen. Um, granted, they were gimmicky, uh, but the the air gesture, the the multiple windows you could do in it, um, you, the like driving mode, S voice uh, is still a big feature. It's not as good as Siri or Google now, um, but like Air View. Um, driving mode, smart stay, smart scroll, all that sort of stuff. It's really, really cool stuff. Um, that, yes, it was gimmicky, but it was still something cool, you know. It was a selling point for, for Samsung, so, and it did. Um, Samsung sold a lot of S4s. Uh, but we're coming up to the point, you know, it's 2014 now. CES has just finished. Um, the, the S4 launched in March of last year, so March of 2013 it launched and it's February now, I mean uh, it's it's January, sorry, um, so we're coming up to March of 2014 and there's been a lot of rumours about the S5 and I do like uh, uh, checking up on news and, and checking up on, on uh, stuff such as, as what, what could we expect and I have gone around and done some research on what we could expect from Samsung so and what people are talking about where what are the rumors for the s5 and whether it's worth you getting it um, uh, so basically the one of the, the biggest things that I had with the s4 was the fact that and most people would agree with me is the fact that it still felt very plasticky it had the same polycarbonate uh, plastic backing as the s3 and you know, it, it just didn't feel as premium as if, if you held a iPhone and a Samsung in your hand, it just didn't feel as, as premium as the, the, the iPhone 5 because of that unibody uh, aluminium uh, metal body that the iPhone 5 had. So people are talking about now that the, the Samsung Galaxy S5 could have a metal body and I think this would be a major, major selling point uh, for for iPhone users and and uh, the Apple lovers, you know, I think um, a lot of people that like the Samsung, you know, they they like the features of the Samsung, but they just didn't think that it was as premium as the iPhone five. So there is rumors going around that the 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 S five could have a metal backing, not a unibody. Uh, design such as the iPhone 5, uh, but it could have a metal backing. So that, that's basically this back part here. Uh, this part here could be metal. 
I think that could be uh, a major selling point. Uh, but that's not to say that it will be on every device. I think um, they, they talk, they're saying that Samsung could ship two versions of the S5, which will be one will be the normal plastic backing as you see here um, that you get on S4, or you could have a more premium thing, a uh, more premium model for a little bit extra price with the metal backing. So when I say it's not fully metal is it's just basically to match with the metal bands around the side that you see on the S4. The other thing that the biggest change I think we'll have, whether we'll see a RAM increase, uh, we're not, I'm not sure, but we will see processor upgrades obviously. Uh, this is The S4 has got the uh, 1.9 gigahertz um, Snapdragon 600 um, they, and there's some of the newer phones such as the Nexus 5 have the Snapdragon 800 running at 2.3. Uh, the Note 3 has the 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 the, the two point three gigahertz processor in it, and the S5 will be no exception. Uh, it will have the either either one of two processors or the two models. The 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 polycarbonate plastic backing could have a different processor to the metal backing, and it's either going to be the Xenos six processor or the Snapdragon eight hundred five processor. Um, and they're also saying that it could depend on the processor could also depend on the LTE whether your phone will have LTE capabilities so the Xenos processor will not have they think now that it will not have LTE capabilities um, but Snapdragon will um, have the, the Snapdragon 805 will have the LTE I don't know why they would change it you know it's the, the and, and the funny thing is is here it states that the Xenos will be the more premium one, but if you get the Xenos, you'll be lacking on an LTE. So we don't know. Uh, I do think they need to change that. I do think both models need to come with LTE. Um, LTE is pretty much standard now. But I think the biggest change that we'll see from the S5 over anything else is the display. Um, they they talking about 2K HD rumors. So we know. We'll, we'll probably see 2K, it's not as much as 4K, everybody's probably expecting 4K because it's all over CES, you know. Um, 4K is everywhere now, but they're saying that the, the S5 could have 4K, which means it will have a resolution of 2560 by 1440 AMOLED screen, um, which is well beyond the quality of a Retina display iPhone. Um, so. And if, if it's true, the, it also s says here that it would ship with a 5.25 inch display. So it's slightly, slightly bigger than the, the 5 inch that you get on the S4. Um, and it also have a pixel density of 559 ppi. Uh, which is, yet yeah, again, much beyond the retina, retina display that the, Apple ha uh, the iPhone has, that Apple produced. Um, I think that's going to be uh, that's going to be pretty good. I'm actually really excited to see what the display looks like when when they finally bring out you know the, the, the when image leaks or or whatever that you see from uh, Samsung. I'm really excited to see the display because I love the display on the S4. The five inch is really really nice size. Um, so it's going to be slightly bigger, not as big as the Note, which I think is really good because you get slightly more screen real estate. Um, and you know much much better quality so it's going to be much higher quality than you get on the S4 um, or something like the Nexus 5 with a, with a 1080p display so I think I think it's going to be really cool the other thing is they're talking about a sl slight camera boost well you know um, the Note 3 shipped with a, f a few versions of the Note 3 had a 4k uh, I don't think it's going to have a 4K. It says here that it's just going to have a 16 megapixel shooter at the back, and obviously that will change with the versions. You know, the 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 S5 will also have, like you get with the S4, the um, probably the active. You'll probably get an active version of it, or a zoom or mini variants. Um, so you'll have an S5 mini or a S5 zoom, which will have a better camera, uh, and it will also ship 
with Android 4.4 KitKat. That has been confirmed, which I think is a must anyway. If it doesn't ship with 4.4 KitKat, then what's the, well, you know, what's the point? Um, I'm running on 4.3 at the moment, so I think 4.4 will just give you a major performance boost. And also, if they implement changes that they, they showed with TouchWiz at CES with some of the Galaxy Note um, tablets, I think it's going to be a blazing fast phone. I think it's going to it's just going to blow everything out the water. Um, I think it's going to be one of the top contenders because that's my biggest gripe with the the S4 is the fact that the camera, I mean the 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 software, the OS TouchWiz, it's 4.3 and then it's got the TouchWiz skin UI over the top and TouchWiz just slows it down. You know, there's a few stuttering movements that I get with with Touch. At touch with every now and then, and yeah, the ba battery drains a lot quicker. So if they implement the changes that they they are talking about and they showed at CES to the S5 with the new processor and the new camera, I think it's going to just be a crazy phone. They're also saying that there will be a price increase. I think to get an S4 when it first came out it was like eight hundred dollars uh, Australian dollars here in the uh, in Australia. Um, but it says here it's going to ship for a price of 800 euros, which is $1,200 for the metal body. So the more premium one with possibly the Xenos and you'll be lacking LTE. Um, or you can get the standard polycarbonate plastic backing uh, for $981 or 650 euros. So it will be insanely, insanely expensive. Um, and you know whether we'll see a launch in March, I'm not sure because um, there hasn't really been that many uh, leaked images or leaked, you know Samsung really hasn't stated anything uh, about that. But you know hopefully we'll see um, a, a March launch like we did with the S4 last year. And yeah, all I can say is it's going to be really good. <laughs> the display is going to be insane, but it's going to be insanely expensive. So, you know, if you can afford it, great, then go ahead and get it because I think it's going to be one of the best top, uh, best smartphones there will be um, anytime soon, hopefully. Um, so, yeah, I, I think uh, I think the S5 is going to be absolutely insane when it comes out and. I'm definitely excited to see what it's going to look like, whether they're going to change the body or, you know, implement maybe some of their curved things like the Samsung Galaxy Round, which I don't think they will, but, you know, I'm really excited. I also hope they increase the battery size or increase the battery life of the, the phone because I barely get a day out of this. Um, granted, I am a heavy phone user, but, um, yeah, I really hope they... they what everything that I've seen on here, I hope they pretty much include everything. I will be getting, if I if they do have the S5 with the metal backing, the metal metal body, I probably will get that because of the more premium feel. Because that's one of the most disappointing parts about this phone is you, it just doesn't feel as premium as something as the like the iPhone 5 or the HTC One. The HTC One is absolutely incredible. Um, the feeling, the premium feel, and those those boom speakers are absolutely incredible. So maybe they can increase this the speaker uh, quality and hopefully make it not so easy to cover up from the back, and yet yeah, have a uh, much more premium feel to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video for the Galaxy S5 rumor uh, roundup or whatever you want to call it, and yeah. See you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, 